Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Notskers, a ceremony for movies that were important but not Oscar worthy. In the category most potentially persuasive short movie aimed at Texas lawmakers, the winner is Good for Texas. Now, that wasn't just a statement, it's the name of the movie. There we go, that's better. Uh, it featured a whole slate of stars. I'm Dennis Quaid from Houston, Texas. All of them from Texas. I love my home state of Texas. We love our home state of Texas. Or close enough. I'm not from Texas, but I played Davy Crockett. Illustrating how other states' red carpets were way more welcoming for lucrative film and media projects. The Texas movie-making incentives blown away by Georgia, California, New York, Louisiana, New Mexico, even... Don't make me say it. Oak, <coughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Oklahoma? Come on. Texas lawmakers last year increased yearly production incentives from a lackluster $22.5 million to $100 million. Now, six months later, the state is reporting 32 new incentive applications, a significant increase, they say, over this time in prior years. But enough about where films are made. Where are we watching them? Well, more of us have now left the comfy couch for the theater. Cinemark says in 2023, the movie industry finally recovered from the pandemic with more than $9 billion in box office sales. The country's third largest uh, theater chain is based in Plano and their seats are way more comfortable than mine. So I visited to find out how they're luring us back to the big screen. Part of it is the much bigger Screen X. We're testing it in uh, eight locations in the U.S. This is peripheral eye candy. 270 degrees viewing. And like with many screens now, projection is done with lasers instead of light bulbs. It spreads the light better across the whole screen. We sampled Top Gun Maverick and Dune 2 in this immersive format, and more movies are now being shot to fill three screens. Expecting to have 24 titles in 24. But it's a single screen theater that they call XD that has really brought moviegoers back. So this makes up about 5%, I think you said it was, of, of, the, the, screens? of the screens that you have. Yes. But yet it makes up 14% of what people watch on. That is correct. Yes. So these are very popular. Very popular. This has worked. This has worked. They're also appealing to your sense of touch with haptic seats choreographed to move with the movie by floating, vibrating, rotating, and a lot more. It has over 65,000 type of moves. But if you'd rather sit on your totally still couch, and stream a movie on your comparatively tiny little screen and its puny speakers, Cinemark now offers popcorn delivery. Thank you. Uh, more, please. And this might help to explain why their concession sales last year were bigger than ever before. All right, now don't do this while you're in a dark theater, but do follow me at Jason Wheeler TV to stay right on the money.